So let's click the ground, change it to no texture. And if you selected this, it will have no texture on the floor. It will just be a solid color. And we need to select a color that works well for this character. Since our character is grayscale, I like to stick to grayscale because it keeps everything simplified. And in the preview, it's still going to preview the grass color. So you're going to need to reset that. I click restart. So that way we have our gray color for the background. And that's probably a little bit too dark. So make that a little bit lighter. Click restart. And that works really well for character 3.6. Goggles DJ. Let's click the 3D world so that we can get the background color to be something lighter and a white, probably way too bright. Choose lighter gray. So we want some sort of a contrast from the character to the background to the ground. And you gotta be very creative using gray colors or grayscale to try to get that contrast. That's why I focus on grayscale first, because if you understand how shading and contrasting with grayscale colors like gray, black and white works, then you'll definitely understand that for colors when you add it in because colors are pretty much just going to be the same thing but just a different hue and decided to go with this type of theme you can definitely tell which part is the sky and also the floor because of the colors and also since our character is a lighter gray the focus is on the character so that's something that i was pretty much making sure i understand because if you're creating your own characters, you really need to understand it from the most basic, simplest version. Because if you can create a game with just gray colors, you can definitely create a game that's going to be all these type of different vibrant colors as well.